I'm passionate about creating products that have a real sustainability and social impact on the world. Only one in 10 people in need of prosthetics have access to the specialist, and that can be due to cost or physical location. We tried to close this gap by giving people with limb loss access to a computer mouse and therefore access to CAD programs that they can iterate our designs, improve on them and then print them at home and test them. It's really taking the user-centred approach so they can design for themselves. It all started off just with basic sketches of how I thought a computer mouse might be used. We wanted to integrate the use of a mouse into a prosthetic hand. With SolidWorks and other CAD software, we were able to turn those sketches into 3D models, print them overnight, and begin testing the very next day. What drew me here to UTS was the access students get to the workshops. And for example, here at the ProtoSpace, students are allowed to go in there, 3D print any of their own designs, and really test the boundary of these machines. 3D printing really is a disruptor for everyone from sort of the top level industry all the way through to I think the home hobbyist or the home designer who's got an interesting idea. Industries like fashion and aerospace, engineering, product design are areas that are really transforming. You know, the ability to go from the design you see on screen very quickly to a physical object that you can test and then you can go back and forth and keep changing that design so quickly. Uh, for industry, that's a real game changer. Normally you'd have to wait months for tooling to be made to, to sort of see the physical outcome of your design. Um, and that cost a lot of money. In the past, with mass production, we really had to work for a large manufacturer and it, it constrained what we could do. The digital technologies that we have available now allow product design graduates to become entrepreneurs far more easily, which is really great because there's a whole suite of digital technologies that are really coming together. There's the internet, scanning technology, data generation, analysis, and digital fabrication technologies that work together to provide new opportunities that just were not possible before. The current generations coming through into university now are, the, are the perfect for working with that kind of technology. There are quite a lot of organisations now who are taking 3D printers into developing countries. Again, because it's so cheap and affordable to use and trying to help people who may be suffering from different health-related illnesses and diseases. Our vision for the future with these prosthetics is hopefully in developing countries there will be these 3D printing hubs maybe in a local community and through using these prosthetics hopefully they can improve on them themselves.